Have you ever wondered how the Roman Empire, one of the most powerful civilizations in history, came to be? Well, its roots go back to the 8th century BC when a man named Romulus is said to have founded the city of Rome. Yes, the very same Romulus who, according to legend, was raised by a she-wolf. From this humble beginning, Rome grew into a flourishing republic in 509 BC, its governance resting in the hands of an elected senate. This period was marked by notable events and figures that shaped the course of history. The Punic Wars, for example, saw Rome establishing its dominance over the Mediterranean. Meanwhile, individuals like Julius Caesar rose to power, leaving an indelible mark on the Republic. But as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. The Roman Republic, in all its glory, was not destined to last. The stage was set, the players were in place, and the rise of an empire was imminent. As the Republic fell, a new form of government emerged, with one man holding all the power, the Emperor. In the twilight of the Republic, in the year 27 before Christ, a charismatic leader named Augustus Caesar stepped onto the world stage. He was the first to bear the title of Emperor, a word that would echo through the annals of history. Augustus Caesar, the adopted son of the famous Julius Caesar, was a master of political strategy. He cleverly portrayed his reign as a restoration of the Republic, while in reality, he held supreme power. His reign marked the beginning of two centuries of peace and prosperity, known as the Pax Romana. But Rome was not always graced with capable leaders. The notorious Emperor Nero was infamous for his cruelty and excess. Legend has it that he played the fiddle while Rome burned in a great fire, though this is likely a myth. Nevertheless, Nero's reign was marked by tyranny and extravagance, a stark contrast to the stability under Augustus. Fast forward to the reign of Trajan, considered by many as the Optimus Princeps, the best ruler. Under Trajan, Rome reached its maximum territorial extent, stretching from Britain in the west to Mesopotamia in the east. His reign was marked by significant military expansion and extensive public building programs. Following Trajan was Hadrian, an emperor known for his love of Greek culture and his focus on consolidating the empire rather than expanding it. His most enduring legacy is the wall he commissioned in northern Britain, a testament to Rome's far-reaching influence. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. The Roman Empire was no exception. The reign of the emperors was a time of grandeur and glory, but also of corruption and decay. It was an era that saw the rise of one of the greatest empires the world has ever known. The empire reached its peak under Trajan, but it was a pinnacle that wouldn't last. All great things must come to an end, and the mighty Roman Empire was no exception. The decline of the Roman Empire is a tale as dramatic as its rise. The first signs of trouble emerged in the crisis of the third century, a tumultuous period marked by civil war, economic collapse and plague. This period saw the empire nearly fall apart, only to be held together by the sheer will and determination of a few strong leaders. The empire's struggles didn't end there. Emperor Diocletian, in a desperate bid to restore order, made a decision that would forever change the course of history. He split the empire into two halves, the east and the west. This move, though initially successful, set the stage for an eventual downfall. The eastern and western halves grew apart, each developing its own identity, its own problems and its own destiny. The western Roman Empire, the original heart of Rome, was the first to crumble. Ravaged by invasions, economic hardship and internal strife, it fell in 476 AD, marking the end of more than a thousand years of Roman rule. The Eastern Roman Empire, or Byzantine Empire as it's now known, continued for another thousand years before meeting its own end. And so ended the Roman Empire, leaving a legacy that continues to influence the world today. Though the Roman Empire fell, its impact remains evident in our modern world. The glorious empire has left a lasting imprint on numerous aspects of our lives. Its system of law still forms the backbone of Western legal systems. Latin, the language of the Romans, has deeply influenced many modern languages. The architectural marvels of Rome continue to inspire, and its concepts of governance have shaped many modern democracies. The Roman Empire may have crumbled, but its echoes still resonate in our world today. If you enjoyed this journey through history, do subscribe to Olapses for more fascinating insights.